Hello, everybody. Welcome back to iCraft SMP. And over right behind me, you find my new grand window inside my town base. I decided to make a grand window pretty much overnight. I did this last night. I put a little flower garden out there. I'm thinking of doing the same thing on this side, actually. And there's a bit of room there where I could do kind of a step terrace or something like that. So we're going to... I died, by the way, in case you didn't know this. I got blown up by a creeper that fell on top of me. Thank you, lovely creeper, for doing such a hateful thing. But yeah, so I was thinking of right in here, um, probably probably put a little put a little bit of a section there. But um, yeah, right in here, it's a bit of land. There's not there's not much to work with, quite frankly. There's just a little bit. It go it extends right behind right behind this here. And I was thinking this area would be perfect for another terrace window setup. And you can see how nice this turned out for that one. And I think I can go down safely and come back up safely eventually. So let me show you what the first window looks like by making it. And I think it looks quite nice, actually. It goes down and I probably should fix that very, very bottom piece right there because um, it probably should go in the dirt, but, but for the most part, it fits wonderfully, I think. And what I could always do is andesite the bottom, but I think it's fine. Let me go fix that, and I'll meet you guys back inside. Okay, guys, I dug out a fairly large sized hole, quite frankly, um, <laughs> compared to the other one over here. What I'm thinking I'll do right here, about right here, is um, I will do a sort of a, a flower bed terrace somehow. I'll find a way to make that work right here. And then I'm definitely doing a window right about here. Right about here. And then I'm not too sure what to do with this area right in here. Um, I could extend this out a little bit and that would cause, that would solve, that would actually solve my issue with the other thing. And that would actually be nicer if I could just stick this out just a touch. But hey, I like the difference in size. I think that will work because I don't exactly know what to do this with this little two area right here. But yeah, if I make this a window right in here, this will actually work out quite well. Okay guys, so I have just found out as you can see by my message there, if you take some moment to read it, um, you'll notice that, um, ha hello, Half Slap Bacon had um, unfortunately killed himself somehow, lost all of its items, and basically had literally literally just put mending on all of his stuff so sad and now he's like freaking out he's like what am i gonna do what am i gonna do what am i gonna do well i'll tell you mr half slab bacon if you're watching this video we of icraft are going to help you <laughs> yes we will help you um two crafters is actually right now heading over in that direction to help him out and i myself i don't know if i want a window right here to be honest with you this will be a crazy big window this is not what I want. I want to have a platform. So yes, I myself will also be helping out very shortly as soon as I um, figure out how to get my window up. So that way I am safe and not gonna die from creepers the next time I come back here because that in itself will be just as depressing for me too. Apparently guys, I can't measure. I don't know why this is three blocks and this happened to be four blocks. So I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why I can't seem to figure out how to measure items properly. So let me try this section one more time. And I think I've got it. Yes, there we go. That's, oh my gosh, look guys, I can't measure to save my life. Okay, this is the part where I need to turn this. I don't know what to say. So let's try to turn it here then instead of over there. This should do it. Yes, there we go. Now, can the window follow this pattern? Where is my window? I can't see my window. I don't see the window. I lost my window, guys. That is bad. I, I lost, oh wait, there it is. I, the light gray, it, it bugged me. You can't see it in inventory. Um, I heard the new updates coming out, so I hope they fix that and light gray end up being much more, much more visible than it is now. Oh look, it does turn. Oh, this is very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Okay guys, I think the terrace will be perfect kind of like this. I'm gonna let the dirt do its thing to grow and fill in this area as best as possible. But yeah, I think this will look really nice, just kind of filled with little flowers and stuff. Do I still have bone meal on me? No, I put it away. So let me see what I can get to grow here. This will be, oh wow, he's like gone, wow. Okay, well that was quick. Uh, I wonder, 
I wonder if what he gave him now. I'm going to ask him in a little bit here. But let's see. Let's see what kind of inter... Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Yeah, we're just going to put a couple flowers here. And this will... We can't put it there until that grows. But hey, we're going to put some flowers and make this kind of look pretty looking. I'm not going to do any, like... Like... Frames or anything for it. But I just want a couple flowers just to kind of poke itself out. And then whenever this rest of this here grows, I'll do the same thing there as well. Oh, there's not. There's a flower down the terrace already. How exciting. <laughs> Actually, you know what I could do? Oh, that would do it too. Let's do that into that flower. There it goes. I like this. And whenever that one grows, I'll do the same there. And I will kind of do the same going down the line here. If you notice what I did up top, I started using... um. Mossy stone bricks. Yes, and that's the whole point of why I've been growing all these vines in here. I'm going to basically outline the top in mossy stone brick. And I think right here I can't do anything because it's like one thick. And so I can't mess with this. So what I'm going to end up doing here is just going to go down the line and just kind of cover the cobblestone going around. And it's going to eventually match up to where, the, where we are here. And then you'll notice underneath I've been doing either stairs or I've been doing slabs. And that's kind of the theme I'm going with also right in here as well. And so let me put a couple torches. I know it's kind of um, dim looking right over here. Anyway, so yeah, I made some like alcove in there. And right in here, I was just noticing this. I probably should go with a little bit of spruce. Just because it looked kind of awkward to have this being a, a part of the stone and I didn't I didn't quite like it And so I'm gonna fill in this area as well. So what is above me? Hopefully Will not be anything important at least not right in here anyways Now I still have yet to figure out what I want to do with the walls of this place at least the remaining walls um, I don't think I want to do the mossy cobble or anything like that or mossy stone bricks, whatever it is. I, I want to do the walls in some other flavor. Now this will go back a little ways before I can um, finish that one off. But realistically, I want the walls to be some some kind of material that's not gonna that's not gonna really contrast with this stuff around here. But at the same time, I want the material to be reasonably oh darn reasonably flexible enough to be workable. Okay. So yeah, this is why this area here is going to have the sunken in slabs. And then I guess I'll do staircase or something like that to kind of connect it together. And I guess the staircase can go there. Oh, see, I would have to do a staircase here too. Yeah, so I don't know if you noticed this, but what I did basically put a line of mossy cobble. I didn't really care how they connected because if you look over here, this is where you end up with the really awesome part where it kind of sticks out a little bit. And that's kind of intentional to have a couple pieces to stick out kind of like that to kind of give that decorative flair. And then you'll notice that the stairs, which I don't seem to have more of, the stairs will just kind of wrap around the bottom edge. And that was also all intentional. I guess I'll just make all of this into stairs since I need them all. And then with the portal here, the goal is not to cover the entire portal. The goal is, on the other hand, to cover up the back part of the portal which happens to be that mystery portal. So if I do this, then the portal is definitely covered up. And this is the, essentially what I want to do with the staircase. And the staircase is going to wrap around the light. And whether or not I keep the light, I am not entirely sure. Uh, because this light's actually for the, I think, the bit on the other side. Let's find out. Yeah, the light's for the bit on the other side. So there may be some minor, minor changes about keeping or removing the light. So I'm not entirely sure if I will. What is going on here? Why are you like moving so weird? Okay, let me fix this. Okay guys, this is where we are. I like actually how this looks. This has turned out quite nice. I unfortunately had to separate this out a little bit because there's gonna be a wall here. And then I guess I'll have to do a pillar of some kind. And I guess I know what kind of pillar I could use. I could go with a spruce style pillar that goes from floor to ceiling and that will actually look nice and that will cover up this light and the rest of it will eventually be walled off. And I could do much the same thing here. Unfortunately here I might have to make some changes as well. But I like the pillar at least separating out here and ironically it fits that pillar right there. That is totally awesome. 
And then this one here can fit the pillar that will eventually sit right in here. So let me go ahead and pop that out. And I would like to pop this out, but I don't know. Let me, let me try. Okay, that could work. That could work, but I don't know about that. That doesn't look as nice, actually. Um, you can actually see part of the portal back there, but that's okay. I guess I could live with that. That should be okay. Or I could drop it down one and do the pillar from there, but again, that would look weird. But ideally, I could also, instead of this, I could do a... Actually, I could do this. Just leaving a little bit of mossy sticking out there. And let's do it here too. Yeah, why not? So let's get rid of this this little piece right here. And we'll put we'll put a piece of mossy right there. That will do it. And then this one can convert backward and sit backwards. That would be fine. There it goes. Yeah, that looks much better. That actually looks much better. And then I gotta put something down here. And down here, I'm not sure what to put, but maybe I could stick a piece of mossy. Mossy bricks here. Yeah, I know this may not make sense the way it looked here, because there's a depth perception thing going on with this here and with the missing wall. But once we get the back of the wall in, this will actually be five across and it will look nice and it's going to be off-centered. It's off-centered for a reason, okay? And I'll probably have to fix that up there a little bit. But it's meant to be off-centered, at least for today it will be anyways. Whether it's meant to be anything else, we shall see if time will change that, okay? Um, but otherwise, I've got the idea of just doing it this way. And this guy's got to go too. I keep misplacing my blocks. It's so much fun. There it goes. That looks better. And the other thing I could do, just go straight across here, and that would get rid of this block. Stick this block with some dirt. Oh, come on, that's not where I want the dirt. Right there. And then, there it goes. Yes, that will fit that better. That makes it a little less awkward. But otherwise, it fits it perfectly with the exception of this little piece right there. And I got a pillar matching up with this one. This pillar here will match up with the front door. So that will be okay, and then this pillar will match up with that, and then this one will match up with that one exactly, and this will be a back wall right here. Not sure what I'm doing with this side, not sure yet what I'm doing there. I mentioned at one point I wanted to dig downwards here. I could do like a little mini storage area over there. I don't know, I'll see about that. Otherwise, for the top here, I was thinking of just slapping the entire top up like this. I don't know, this could work because you could see the transition in color. And let me go ahead and get me some more stone brick. Okay guys, this is actually looking really nice. I like this color here. It's like a really dark gray. Normally this is not this dark color, but when you take the light out of it, it turns into this dark gray kind of color here. And that's what's gonna go on the ceiling. And you can totally see how the transitional color is working out up there in the ceiling itself. I gotta fix that one piece right there, darn it. Okay guys, for the wall, I'm gonna have to think about the wall another day. Um, I think for the time being, this will complete at least this part of the project. I got at least the front windows in. I got a nice looking roof actually on this building. I'm not sure here, I'm not sure there. I'm not sure what type of wall I'm going to do. So for the time being, I'm gonna take my giant set of vines, just stick them back on the wall, let them vine away uh, because you know, I could totally use it. Okay guys, for the last part of our episode here, we're taking this mending book to Mr. Bacon, who's happened to be right there and he's wondering where we are. I don't remember if I showed off the end, but there we go. Here it is, the end that Luke built. I'm gonna see if I can kind of spook him here. We'll see what happens. Um, he's looking for this extra mending book because um, he died, let's put it that way. I don't know how he died, but let's see if I can, I can scare the crap out of him. <laughs> No, I didn't. I didn't. He's too smart for me. You're too smart for me, buddy. Uh, this would not be safe to drop anywhere here because this here would be the worst place to drop any kind of book like this because it would get sucked away into this hyper drain system. And I actually lost my stuff. I lost some of my stuff when I died here. That was just horribly stupid. So yeah, let me pause. Oh. Die. <laughs> 
Let me go pop a block. At, no, no, he broke the block. Where did he break the block? Let me go ask him. Anywho, guys, I dropped off his mending book under here. If you didn't know this, um, you probably wouldn't know this unless you watched Waffles episode. But under all of this is a hyper drain. So I gave him his mending book over there. Call him for redstone services anytime. I should just troll him now and say I would like a redstone project. <laughs> I should think of something very complicated. That'd be awesome. Anyway, so yay. Anyways, I shouldn't look at those endermen. That'd be dangerous for me. I am going to call it quits. Um, this episode's about over. I made some windows. I made a ceiling. I gave it a mending book to this guy right here. And we're going to call it quits for today. I think what I'm going to do in the very near future is build some farms. Um, it may be a good idea around the villager station to build a couple more farms. I got one in mind for a pumpkin melon one to go there. I also got, I need to do a little research on potatoes and wheat and the best way to grow them. Because I know villagers will be needed, so I don't know how to get the villagers out of the room they're in and to a farm where they belong, right? So I got some ideas about how to make that work. And after that, we'll see what we could do. So um, probably pumpkin melon first and then so on after that. Yeah, so stay tuned next time. Like, subscribe, comment, and talk to this guy, Bacon, our new guy, new guy, Bacon. He's wonderful. Bye. Hello, creeper living outside my door. Do I dare try to attack you? I already know what's gonna happen if I try. Uh, let's, let's just be kind of stupid. Pop open the window, aim, and that should be enough for that. Oh my god, that creeper's like running. What the heck, dude? That creeper's fast. That creeper, it's not a slow creeper. That's a, that's a very fast creeper right there.